and we're docking. And complete. Concentrate. I'm trying, Sura, but it's getting worse. I can feel my mind slipping. Fragment. I'll become one of them. You have to get away from me. No, I will not leave you here. It's pointless. We share this fate. This is our end. The grip. It's happening! Sarok, run! I can't stop it!
accident log. Something has gone horribly wrong. We were in orbit directly above Dasra, monitoring our current experiments when we experienced a sudden energy surge. I fear the source came from the city itself. It triggered our graph drive and shoved the Oracle to an unknown location. We thought members of the crew were somehow lost in the jump. But later, we were attacked by what I will refer to as Vortex Phantoms. I thought I recognized some of them. Could it be that the energy surge has somehow transformed them and warped their minds? Vettel, post incident log. After the initial jump, areas of the Oracle have somehow been sectioned off by strange energy fields or barriers. The fields allow no one to pass and are somehow able to repel, almost teleport the trespasser back. I am certain these no fields are related to the vortex phantoms. Both resonate with the same energy pattern, the exact same pattern we were studying for Anasco's experiments. Something happened in Dasra. And if the situation is bad here, I fear for our brethren in the city.
Iraq vessel. Post incident lock. The Oracle has continued to jump. It is completely out of our control. Not only that, but I believe the initial surge of energy we experienced is transformative. With each passing day, more of the crew succumb to whatever residual energy we were exposed to. Most are instantly hostile, but we discovered some are able to retain a sense of self. At least, momentarily.
at all. Post incident log. Something has gone horribly wrong. We were in orbit directly above Dasra, monitoring our current experiments when we experienced a sudden energy surge. I fear the source came from the city itself. It triggered our graph drive and dropped the Oracle to an unknown location. We thought members of the crew were somehow lost in the jump. But later, we were attacked by what I will refer to as Vortex Phantoms. I thought I recognized some of them. Could it be that the energy surge has somehow transformed them and warped their minds? Vettel, post-incident log. After the initial jump, areas of the Oracle have somehow been sectioned off by strange energy fields or barriers. The fields allow no one to pass and are somehow able to repel, or almost teleport, the trespasser back. I am certain these no fields are related to the Vortex Phantoms. Both resonate with the same energy pattern. The exact same pattern we were studying for Anasco's experiments. Something happened in Dasra. And if the situation is bad here, I fear for our brethren in the city.
Irak vessel. Post incident lock. The Oracle has continued to jump. It is completely out of our control. Not only that, but I believe the initial surge of energy we experienced is transformative. With each passing day, more of the crew succumb to whatever residual energy we were exposed to. Most are instantly hostile, but we discovered some are able to retain a sense of self. At least, momentarily. Dislodged in the last jump. The gravity. Restoring the gravity may pull the cell into place. If I can get to the control room, if I can just. No! They are coming!
This is Siraj Vital. Post incident log. I am one of the few remaining unaffected crew on the Oracle. Nadine, Basira, and Taras are the only others I was able to find. I fear it is just a matter of time before we succumb to this energy that is turning the others. How long will we last? And will my mind be strong enough to hold out when my time comes? Basira and I have programmed the Oracle to return to Varun Kai's orbit once it is able. All of our research will automatically be transmitted the moment we are within Dasra's range. I pray our work here was not in vain. Controls. Why will they not respond to me? Work, damn you! Warning. Gravity procedure initiated. Please check your surroundings to ensure personal safety. Restoring gravity in three, two, one. Cell connected. Report to operations for system reboot.
The Vortex Phantoms. Where did they go? Something is wrong. Mainframe reboot initiated. Commencing protocol. Station lockdown completed. All major systems on standby. Mainframe reboot completed. Warning. Station jump procedure initiated. Please check your surroundings to ensure personal safety. Jump in three, two, one. Execute. Station lockdown released. Initiating data transfer. Incoming transmission. This is Dasra calling the Oracle Station. We've received your transmission. Your orders are to send a representative down here immediately. It appears we have much to discuss. Very still, and choose your words carefully. They will determine how long you live. You have no right to be here. You will tell me how you found this place. No signal should have left this system. Mm, but the Oracle was lost. It was deemed necessary at the time. We will reevaluate that decision in light of what has happened. Forrest, I think we need not fear our guest. Perhaps in this time of need, the Great Serpent has delivered us a gift. Counselor, with due respect, we have not had unannounced visitors here in generations. It is a clear breach of security. 
I do not disagree, and I know that security, in whatever small form we can grasp it, is of paramount importance. But you must acknowledge the timing is... curious. And perhaps our guest's intent should be determined before we take further action. We received the automated transmission. But you are certainly not who we expected to find. Great serpent! What's happening again? Hear me! Speaker, we are here! We have reached out to you, to, to seek guidance in our hour of need. The gate in the Citadel has been opened just to seek you. Have I failed you? What is this place? Where am I? Why do you not show yourself? I strive only to follow your command. All must serve. Please, do not leave me in darkness. I seek only your wisdom, your guidance. Great serpent, your children cry out to you. Will you not answer us? Our leader, Anasko Varun, he has appeared like this over and over. So many of our people have been trapped in this state, these vortex phantoms. But usually they are hostile and lash out. Anasko is different. If only we could hear his voice, some reassurance that all is not lost. You could hear him. Despite the sightings, none have heard the word from Anasco in all this time, yet you claim to. Do not toy with me. Not about this. If you speak truth, you must prove it. What did he say? Serpent. No outsider would know our creed. It is never uttered beyond this city. Truly, you did hear an asco. You have been chosen. People of House Varun, hear me. We have asked the Great Serpent for deliverance from our calamity. And he has answered us. This outsider has been chosen as the most unlikely vessel for the Great Serpent's divine provenance. And he will help save us all. Outsider, please. There is no denying you have been sent here as a sign. You must help us. But there are... Uh, there are precepts that must be followed. Principles that must be obeyed. Even in these dire circumstances, we cannot turn from Jinan Varun's teachings. You will be granted safe passage through Dazra and the lands beyond. No harm will come to you, on that you have my word. But to truly aid us, you must become part of House Varun. This is not a thing done lightly, and it cannot be taken back. Will you commit to helping us by becoming one of the promised? You must mean the Zealots. I assure you, they do not represent House Varun. We do not engage with the settled systems. They would attack us just as soon as you or anyone else. And they would certainly never extend an offer to join them, as I do now in this time of desperation. So, will you? Excellent. Please, come with me. Forgive me for not introducing myself. I am Malibor Dulkef, a member of the High Council of House Varun. 
I have been asked to represent the Council in this moment. Please, enter our city. You have my word that you will not be harmed. I would ask that until you have become promised, you avoid the citizens of Dasra. They are not used to outsiders. Open the gate! I must tell you what I reveal for now, but surely you saw the scaled citadel as you arrived. It was the center of an explosion of sorts that has annihilated most of our city. We have lost many of our brothers and sisters. I believe we are still in danger. Counselor, what is the meaning of this? Is there a problem, Makula? The city is in shambles, the speaker is missing, and here you are leading some outsider through our sacred space? Why allow this husk to defile our city? Have we not lost enough? Have faith, I believe this outsider was guided here by the great serpent himself. And soon, serpent willing, they will be one of us. But, I can be sure and pass your concerns on to the rest of the High Council, if you wish. I apologize for the interruption. There is a ritual, intended for converts to the Promised, that has not been performed in generations. We are fortunate that there are those still alive who remember the old ways, and have remained prepared for such a moment as this. Dinaza, I suspected we might find you here waiting. I saw the ship landing. I knew immediately that I would be needed. Indeed you are. This is Inaza Kaisia, Herald of the Serpent. She will guide you through the ritual. I am needed elsewhere, but I assure you that you are in good hands. So... The Great Serpent sends you to me. No husk that walk the serpent's path. To enter the sacred cave, there is no turning back. You will be forever changed. This is a path you must walk of your own free will, alone. Will you step forward? and emerge anointed, one of the promised. I do not offer religion. I offer truth. If you choose not to seek the truth, so be it. Neither the Great Serpent nor I will be going anywhere. We shall both await your return. The serpent slumbers awaiting your decision. Is it time? Then enter, and I shall guide you along the serpent's path. You must walk the path. I am merely here to guide you along your way. First on Earth, then scattered among the stars. And like all humans, they were lost souls, wandering in the dark, looking for a path. One particular colony ship housed several hundred of these souls. They were each alone and isolated, individual tiny flames that could be snuffed out at a moment's notice. A 
but Jinang Count of the Great Serpent, and was given the gift of knowledge. He shared his knowledge with those around him, and lit the way for them. They followed his guidance, and his light, and they cast aside the burdens of their former lives. And thus, House Varun was born. Now you too have the chance to cast aside your burdens, to relieve yourself of anything that holds you back. The people's hopes and fears and dreams were entrusted to the Great Serpent. They made the leap of faith that brought House Varun to greatness. You may now follow in their footsteps and take that same leap. Embrace the Great Serpent, and he will embrace you. The people of House Varun settled this world, at first, in these very caves. Chinan Varun himself slept among them in these shelters. It was here that he spread the word of the serpent. It was here that the people of House Varun first understood the truth of their place in the universe. And it was here that the people of House Varun first understood the truth of the Shrouding. The Great Serpent's return. He will encircle the universe he created, and all those who do not follow will be cast into shadow. And the people weighed this knowledge against their former lives, and saw how they had been blessed despite the difficult new life that awaited them. You too would do well to feel that solace amidst the pain. Until that day comes, we are the voice and the hands of the Great Serpent. Our every act a sacrifice to hasten his return. Make now a sacrifice to prove your devotion. And remember, whether in life or in death, all must serve. Let us begin the final ritual. While none since Jinan and Verun have stood before the great servant, we can all feel his presence. To solidify his God, you are presented with a simple choice. Before you on this dais are several items. They represent different aspects of House Varun's connection to the Great Serpent. Pick the two that call to you. Place them on the altars. Offerings to the Great Serpent that he may fill you with his spirit and make you promise.
And so you arise, one of the prop... Through strength and perseverance, House Varun will triumph over all that stands in its way. I grant you the title of Vindicator. All will know you. All will trust you. Above us, in the Grand Ship Morning, jewel of the Varun fleet, the High Council awaits your arrival. Serve them. Serve the Great Serpent. All must serve. Hello, Vindicator. You would speak with me. Welcome, Vindicator. You stand before what remains of the High Council, advisors to Anasko Varun. We are all that is left after the disaster that has befallen our people. I represent House Dulkef. Jamal is from House Kadik. We are joined by Lovek of House Vital. We are, all of us, hopeful that your arrival in Dazra and your clear connection to Anasko Varun, for the first time in weeks, represent some semblance of hope. But you do. We have only seen brief glimpses of him since the incident. But you heard him speak. How can that be taken as anything other than providence? Please, just allow us a moment to explain. By all means, Malabor. I can't wait to see how you spend this. Please, can we just for a moment... Can we just for a moment what? Discuss whether or not to allow the first convert to House Varun since before any of us were born? Bit late on that, it seems. You were not there. You did not see Anasco. It felt different. We have already wasted so much time and... You're correct. I was not there. Because you elected to travel to the spaceport on your own. And then decided this on your own. Do not waste time with more bickering. Anasco, and by extension House Varun, suffers with every passing moment. Of course, Lovek. My apologies. Please, Malabor, do go on. Anasko Varun, like his father before him, has relied on the teachings of Jinan to guide us. Anasko wondered if perhaps it was time to seek guidance directly from the Great Serpent. He so sought a means of reaching out. Perhaps he found the teachings inadequate. Careful, Kadik. You tread on dangerous ground. I mean nothing by it. We simply were never consulted on the matter and do not know the full motive. The point is that a series of experiments have taken place over the years, utilizing grav drive technology to hopefully make direct contact with the Great Serpent, similar to Jinan Varun's initial meeting. And then something went wrong. We do not know what happened. We were not inside the scaled citadel at the time. Had we been? We wouldn't be standing here now. We'd be like the rest of them. A great tide of energy emanated from the scaled citadel and swept across Dasra. Much was destroyed in its wake. To 
Those caught in the blast have been left in a state of confusion, trapped halfway between our universe and the Vortex. Citadel itself remains in such a state. Right there and yet beyond our reach. We can only assume that the experiment is still running, somehow preventing us from entering the Citadel. We cannot get in, so we cannot stop it. We... We're beginning to lose hope before you arrived. Your arrival and your interaction with Anasco shows that he can still be saved. A plan had been devised to access the Citadel, but the work stalled. Clearly, it is time to move forward with it. The current head of our science team, Ekris, should be in Jinan Plaza down below us, towards the Citadel. Tell him about your experience with Anasco, and that work on the morning device must proceed. Yes? Did you require something? Yes? the scientists out at the Mahdi station? The old married couple? Uh, Azad and Shireen, if I remember right. I've met them a few times. They seemed a little eccentric, but were otherwise quite nice. That's them, yes. They're apparently looking for some help with their research. They made some kind of discovery that has them troubled. Good luck finding help at a time like this. Indeed. Yet, the Serpent provides for the faithful, so who knows? Nothing is truly impossible. All must serve. Do you truly have no shame, Amir? No shame at all. What you have done goes beyond disgrace. What? What do you want? <laughs> Seems your outburst has attracted some outside attention, brother. If it was an audience you wanted, who you have it now? <laughs> Please accept my apologies. I caught my brother attempting to do something unspeakable. And I could not contain my anger. Oh yes, go on. Invite a total stranger into our family squabbles. This is no squabble, you pompous fool. What you have done today is abhorrent. I can forgive stealing my money, or pawning my valuables. What I cannot abide, however, is you attempting to sell Mother's urn with her remains still within. I was drunk, I did not know. All of those vases appeared the same. It is an urn, not a vase, you ignoramus. And you were the one who chose it when Mother passed away. I am tired of your shamelessness, and I am done bearing what should be your indignity. Do you hear me? I am done. You have gone too far this time, Amila, and I cannot bear the humiliation of being your brother any longer. I challenge you to a duel. Danica shall be my second. What? Are you mad? Borhal, are... are you sure? There is already so much death in the city. What good would this do? There has to be another way. Too late, Danica. He has issued his challenge. I accept. I, in fact, look forward to it. You. You shall be my second. Then it is settled. Outsider, you will work alongside Danica to prepare for the duel. As for you, Amila, enjoy these last few moments. For when we next meet, your shameful life ends. 
<laughs> Do not sound so confident, brother. Need the help family with home him? is this way. It is not far. We can discuss the matters there. You will be working with me. As seconds, it is our duty to prepare for the duel, and ensure fairness. I am sorry that you have found yourself in this situation. I see But why know I'm that you are so doing Amila a great favor. He truly has no one else who would be willing to do this for him. He has burned every bridge imaginable. It seems that after years of suffering Amila's embarrassment, Borhal has reached the boiling point. But still, to challenge your brother to a duel. I pray that we will be able to work towards a peaceful resolution before it's too late. I got you your favorite from the meat house. Extra fatty, just the way you like. <laughs>